Jesus said we must first bind up the strong man and then take his goods. So until the demonic realm is properly dealt with, there won't be the revival so many are waiting for. And Satan's kingdom will continually interfere with the end time harvest. In the parable of the weeds, Jesus said, while we were sleeping, my enemy planted his seeds. This tells us that the devil does his main work at night, while most of Christians are asleep and nobody's watching or praying. Therefore, as many Christians already know, nighttime is the most strategic time to pray, when the fighting is the most intense. Stopping the enemy while his work is just a seed is much easier than dealing with a full-grown tree. Jesus said that we should always pray and not give up. For successful warfare, we'll need to be ready to pray continually for several hours. You'll need to press in hard and make a commitment until you get a breakthrough. In the Baptized by Blazing Fire book, the church prayed all night long for several weeks. You should be able to pray for one, two, even three hours or more. So don't give up. In a vision that one of my friends had, she saw a dark cloud over the earth. It was filled with evil spirits. And there were Christians underneath it praying. As the Christians prayed, they would ascend upward toward the dark cloud, pressing into it. But only those Christians that would pray hard and continually would break through the dark cloud. The rest would just eventually fall back down to earth. The Christians who would break through would have victory over their enemy and victory over their circumstances. But those who would fall back down would always be dealing with the circumstances, trying just to maintain. Therefore, a determination to break through in prayer is critical 